it is important to talk about mobile device solutions and mobile device management because now in organizations everyone has a mobile device connected to the network everyone has it's like thousands of mobile devices given to every employees and they're all connected to the network so how can this be managed how can this be secure that's when we talk about mobile device management mdm mobile device management very important acronym this is a centralized management of mobile devices to enforce security, to enforce configurations, to make sure that all the devices that are connected to the network should be there, they're monitored, and they're doing exactly what they need to do, not more, not less. For example, you have a few software here. This is Microsoft Azure that shows you the number of enrolled devices. This is only three, just an illustration. Another one here that shows you the version the iOS version for iOS devices, the Android versions for Android devices, the applications deployed, the device manufacturers, and more by category, by passcode, etc. And just FYI, at CyberMOOC, we train for mobile device management. We have hands-on programs on this, so you can also join us to learn more in addition to learning the theory. So that's mobile device management, MDM, a centralized way to manage devices. And uh, there is a concept called deployment models. For example, BYOD, bring your own device. This is a policy in an organization that lets employees bring their own mobile devices to work and access work-related data. So it's like you're going to work, you can access your emails and work-related data from your personal device. This is called a BYOD, bring your own device. It's a little bit similar to BYOB when you're hanging out with friends, bring your own bottle. This one is BYOD, bring your own device. COPE, corporate owned, personally enabled. Here the company provides the devices and employees use them for their personal tasks. So here the organization has better control over the security. COPE, corporate owned, personally enabled. CYOD, here you choose your own device. So the employees, they're given a list of devices and you choose your own devices to find a balance with user preference and security. How are mobile devices used for connections? You can connect with a cellular method. So this is a use of mobile networks for data transmission. You can connect with Wi-Fi networks. This is wireless local networks and Bluetooth, Bluetooth short range of wireless communication to networks. Let's talk about wireless security. So wireless security is important because as much as you, you secure physical devices, you also have to secure the transmissions that you don't see, the wireless transmissions. And today, every device uses wireless security. Laptops, servers, mobile phones, all those devices, they use wireless security to connect to networks. Wireless security configurations to protect wireless networks from unauthorized access. You don't want someone sitting outside of the office or within the office able to access things that they should. So this includes encryption methods like WPA3. What is WPA3 Wi-Fi Protected Access Version 3? This is a Wi-Fi security protocol that provides encryption. So it ensures that your devices are secure, your wireless network is secure. Today, the most secure ones are WPA3 and WPA2. Radius is a centralized way of authenticating for users connecting to the network. So it's one central authentication service. It's called Radius, Radius for Remote Authentication Dial-in User Service. This centralizes authentication for different kinds of systems and it's for remote, for remote devices as well. It's one of the most common authentication servers and it can centralize authentication for many different kinds of systems. So routers, switches, firewalls, all of them connect to one central radio server that connects to the back end. So for example, you have a radio server here in Atlanta and you have all the different offices from LA, from Houston and others connecting to one centralized server, which then gives access to the internal server. That's called radius, remote authentication dial in user service. To protect wireless networks, you also have the use of secure protocols like AES to protect data at rest. So for encryption of data at rest, remember 
data address is data that is not used, is stored in a hard drive or within the cloud, but it's not actively used. And you have TLS. TLS is to protect data in transit. So TLS is what gives you HTTPS when you're using a web browser, when you're downloading data. You have TLS that protects data in transit. That's data that is actively moving within the network. You also have authentication protocols. For example, EAP, Extensible Authentication Protocol. This is used to verify user identities. So this is a type of protocol in wireless networks that provides a method for two systems to authenticate. And it, pre it prevents access until authentication is successful. So you have to successfully authenticate before you get access. For example, here you have Marlene trying to connect to cybermook.com. Now what happens first, Marlene's computer sends a certificate to identify itself to cybermook.com and cybermook.com sends a certificate to identify itself and both create a trusted relationship. Now, it's not always like this because there are different types of EAPs, which we talked about in section in domain three, but this is an overview of how EAP protocol works, extensible authentication protocol. So here are a few ways to achieve wireless security, authentication protocols, cryptographic protocols for data at rest like AES or data in transit like TLS, Radius for centralized authentication, WPA3 or WPA2 for encryption. All right, guys, what did you think of this course? You liked it? Great. We're glad you did. You can follow us on all our social media platforms, including YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. And don't forget, we also have these awesome Amazon flashcards to help you study. So definitely check out www.cybermook.com to order yours today.